And welcome back. Let's turn that off uh, to part eight of what if, of, uh, of Dragon Ball Z. What if? What if Goku was as smart as Bulma? Last time on the Dragon Ball Z, what if we actually finished up both the Cell and Android saga wrapped into one, and put a, turned it on its head a little bit. We actually had an Androidified, cyborgified version of Piccolo, who wanted you know to do uh, to take his anger out on Goku. And that ultimately didn't work, and he ultimately ultimately refused with Kami. Now, this did uh, leave a gap. The Dragon Balls were deactivated, but he, he could have easily reactivated them. We will not be using the Black Star Dragon Ball ideology here, because, again, GT, not a big fan of that, except for a few parts of it. Anywho, so the aftermath of that, though, a little time passes, and Bra shows back up. Future Bra shows back up, and she asks how everything went with the androids. And more or less, they said it was fine. You know, we dealt with Jiro, or we dealt, well, we dealt with this one, and that one's like, we, well, those weren't the androids I was, I, we dealt with. Yeah, and then we, oh, and Piccolo was an android? Oh, God, what, how did that happen? Did you end up, no, please tell me you didn't end up killing him. It's like, no, what, I, we actually ended up beating him, and he and Kami ultimately were fused back together. But wait, you're saying those were not the androids? Uh, yeah, I can, I can at least tell you. An idea of where Jiro's lab was. Um, he's like, wait, you didn't tell us where the lab was? You knew where it was? Oh, yeah, did I forget to mention that? Because <laughs> I ima could imagine that, A, they would have figured it out in the future where the androids actually came from, and B, Rock can't be 100% perfect, whoops. Um, and they decide to fly over there to check things out, and they find it destroyed. <laughs> and not only do they find it destroyed, they find the remains of other androids and she sees and uh, looks and sees and is like no yeah these were the androids i guess piccolo really became that much uh, really was that strong yeah he was well i guess i should well glad everything turned out fine here i should probably get getting back uh as well how how are the androids in your how are you dealing with the androids in your time and she admits like yeah, not, not easy. I mean, as strong as I am, the, these androids were just designed to surpass even a Super Saiyan. To which then goes, says, well, why not stay here for at least a little bit and train? I mean, the past is already, we've already taken care of our androids. Uh, well, I mean, I'll act, I guess, but only on one condition. I want to train with you, Dad. And it's like, sure. And I guess there's one there's one surefire thing we can do. Uh, and they go up to the lookout. And there's Kami. And Barack can even sense how strong Kami is. Like, Kami's stronger than her by a good leap now like whoa it's like oh ah but you must you must be bra the one who told us about the androids welcome oh how can i help you uh hi kami it's sorry i never got to officially meet you in the past in the future i see i suppose i suppose me, either i or piccolo were killed and uh, therefore and therefore we both were uh were take uh and therefore the other was as well yeah pretty much and so it's like, what do you need for? Well, Bra needs is gonna go back to the future, but she needs a uh, needs to train back up. We're gonna use the ta a time chamber. Uh, you, are you sure, Goku? This is your last time to use it. Although I have been I have been working on modifying it, though it's still in the work in progress, as well as the Dragon Balls. And uh, it's it's all good, Kami. And because Kami now is he's way stronger than Dende would ever be, and more powerful, he should be able to make the adjustments to the room of spirit and time, so they can just keep reusing it like they ended up doing. But ultimately, um, uh, ultimately, they go into the room of spirit type and they train for the full year. And, you know, Bulma, Raditz, you know, go on. They are yeah, waiting for, you know, and baby bra. And say, oh, my God, that's how we look. He's like, oh, my God, I always saw me beating him. She's I really am a looker. <laughs> um, but they come out and bra has more or less gained the again uh, they both gained the perfected super saiyan form but bra's gained also the akari super saiyan form now goku though has been able to now train intensively a with the perfected super saiyan form but b with the super saiyan akari form and actually push it to its next realization which would be the super saiyan 2 akari form first off super saiyan 2 he accesses it with a year of training he and bra both i think finally achieved that and then he start learns to combine that because they have a full year in that in those uh, extreme measures or extreme environment to uh, to combine that with Super Saiyan two and Akari. So now you get a multiplier that is a hundred times based with the Super Saiyan two plus times nine ten. That's a thousand times. That's over two and a half. That's about two and a half times stronger than Super Saiyan three, the Super Saiyan two Akari form. 
uh, at about a quarter of the strength of a Super Saiyan 4. Uh, so they get out of there, and Raditz can just sense how strong Goku has gotten. You know, Kakarot, your, your power really, your, your power's grown, uh, your power's grown in, uh, intense, or I incredibly. I don't know if I can keep up anymore, but you better be damn sure I will. And so Raditz, you know, is makes the promise that he's going to train and get stronger. And so Kami, throughout the next seven years, does adjust the hype dog time chamber and invite them up to train now and then when they really need that extra amount of time. And But they're also aware that they can't train in there too much because they're going to keep aging. So they use it spare, like, they they agree, like, once a year. Once a year, they will use it. And, yeah, they're going to age up about seven years because of this, but they're, and Raditz is older than Goku by a few years, but because Saiyans retain their youth much more, much longer, it's not going to matter greatly in the long run. Uh, so, in the next seven years, what actually happens? Well, first off, we need to acknowledge Hercule didn't save the world. People know about Hercule, he's a world champion. Goku doesn't participate in the martial arts tournaments anymore because... Well, frankly, truth be told, what shouldn't he have? He was with the, I mean, there, I guess there was no rule at the time that the returning champion had to come back. But I, I guess there's no actually rule that you need to come back if you won. It's just, you know, if you want to hold your title, you should. Because Roshi, I believe, showed up again to keep Goku in check, but ultimately knew that he had been surpassed. Anyway, I digress. So, Goku probably doesn't participate in the tar tournaments because he knows he's not going to get any good fights out of it, save for maybe Krillin or anyone else. And even then, he's way beyond them. And so, Hercule still gets to have that nice clean sweep of the uh, martial arts tournament, although they may show up to just spectate now and then because Goku still likes the environment and all that. And it's kind of like family time, whatever. But beyond that... Uh, what happens with the rest of the group? Well, I think Krillin, Tian, and Yamcha, they mostly go their separate ways. Yamcha kind of gives up on the training after a while, even though he's still going to be one of the strongest humans on the planet. Tian does continue to train with Chiaotzu like he does, but I don't see his mentality being any different where he's going to be training with others beyond Chiaotzu. Excuse me. Right, he's going to be, you know, he's not going to be using a time chamber. He's not going to be training at Calp's Court very much. He's going to be doing his own thing. Krillin, though, does train with Goku continuously. Like, he he continues to train at Calp's Court, continues to increase his strength, maybe even does, like, a hyperbolic time chamber at one point scenario to get training. So while his, while his growth is a lot more stunted than the rest of them, and he's still nowhere near as strong as the rest of them, he is, by and large, the strong, because he has Kaioken, the strongest human on the planet. Because he can most likely do a Kaioken times 20 at this point. The real question is, where do Raditz, Goku, and Gohan stand? And more importantly, where does Gohan stand in terms of his relationship to his actual peers? Uh, because this Gohan probably actually has been going to school. Unlike Chi-Chi, who homeschooled Gohan because they, A, couldn't really afford and then got, or to go to a really expensive school or anything like that. And B, they lived all the way in the effing woods. So, um, that's why he was homeschooled for so long. Uh, go on here, most likely goes to school, has peers, has friends. Now, the question is, is he even aware or does he know Videl? And I believe, if I am not mistaken, he is, while he was the same age as Videl, that is due to the hyperbolic time chamber, as people like to, in the comments have pointed out. So he's actually a year older physically than he actually is naturally. Um, he aged an extra year, so that's why he would be in the same grade. Otherwise, he's actually a year below them. But that all depends on when Gohan actually is conceived in this version. Uh, I mean, I implied and pretty much treated it like he was born at the same time, but if we want to, and it doesn't really change it much, and by and large, we could just say he was born like a year earlier. That said, however, for the sake of at least something different, let's just say he is a year younger than Videl. That doesn't mean he doesn't interact with her. Uh, it just they're not really in the same grade with each other. And though, because he is intelligent, he can be in a he can be a grade ahead at least. And maybe he is. I think it's actually pretty reasonable to say he'd probably be a grade ahead. And he'd get flack, maybe get flack for it, but he also get attention for it that he is that he's the son of the briefs. But he's also the son of one of the one of the winners of the martial arts tournament of the you know of, that was the twenty third Budokai, um, because Goku 
he won that. He is known for winning that, and he's still very much alive. So he never died. And he's actually, because he's married to one of the wealthiest and most powerful women on the planet, he's... He certainly is, uh, he's certainly probably more well known than, you know, he normally would have been. And so, you know, he garnered his attention and Videl probably does kind of hyper focus on him a little bit because of this, because her dad is the current martial arts champion. And so she's just, she's just wondering, is this guy really all of that? Crap? Why is everyone just flocking to him? Not that she cares about the attention at all, but it like, it's like, oh, they're taking attention away from me. No, she doesn't get that much attention anyway. Especially now because her dad didn't save the world and she doesn't go out and help the cops at all. That even would save me the world made no sense why she's allowed to go try to break up terrorist scenarios. But regardless, I mean, yeah, I get it. She's, she's capable, but seriously. Uh, but she still kind of hyper focuses on him a little bit. Uh, and she's probably a little comfortable with the attention. She's like, um, is there, uh, you're Videl, right? And it's like, hmm. It's like, uh, is there something wrong? I don't, it's like, uh, I don't want to see the big deal with you. It's like, uh, I'm sorry. I don't want you so, uh, so up, uh, up in arms about you good or bad, uh, either for good or bad. I mean, just seems like some guy. It's like, well, yeah, I mean, I'm in agreement there. I mean, just, I mean, my mom and my mom is Bulma and my mom is, <laughs> is uh, pretty awesome. And dad are pretty awesome, but I don't think that means I need to get all this attention. Yeah. And <laughs> Uh, yeah, so your dad won the martial arts tournament too at one point. Huh? Oh, oh yeah, wait, yours, yours is one? Wait, Videl, Videl, and she realizes, wait, you're Hercule Satan's daughter. Is it, how do you not know who my dad is? He's a world martial arts champion seven years running. Um, I say, oh, I'm sorry, we, uh, we only go to, go there every now and then, and, uh, uh, and just be, uh, just because it's a kind of a great experience and it rises out of the good old days. Uh, and she just kind of like, you know, whatever. And so they're, not cat and mouse, but they're, uh, the dance of seduction begins as, uh, what was it, Beavis? <laughs> Beavis said it is. And so the dance of seduction ends. <laughs> um, uh, but, uh, yeah, Goku and Rads, meanwhile, having maybe once a year gone to High Product Time Chamber, have, re have really pushed their powers to limit. Shouldn't know, Gohan does probably have Super Saiyan 2 at this point, but, he can do Super Saiyan 2, Super Saiyan, and Akari. He can't do Perfected Super Saiyan. Uh, because it's the, ra the rage that, ki that kind of had to unlock Super Saiyan 2 really doesn't meld well with the standard Akari form, at least from Gohan. But Gohan has the potential to unlock something beyond that, obviously. We know Beast Mode. Uh, the reason that Goku and Raz did it is just because they don't have to focus on studies. They have more time to actually focus. So... Over the years, Raditz has definitely gained the Super Saiyan 2 Okari form, and Goku even was able to push it farther with seven years of, high, of, of uh, series training, in, uh, uh, plus the training he did outside the chamber, in unlocking Super Saiyan 3. I always argue he can do it in human form. If Gotenks can do it, magic be damned, from, their, uh, from the fusion dance, uh, then Goku can do it in a living body as well. So... Hell, again, I always argue like the fusion dance ran out of its time so fast because of that. So if anything, it's kind of it was still kind of even though they were able to do it, it actually hurt the the the, the, the technique. And so Goku is even pushed it now to Super Saiyan four, but he one of the things he's been I've been working on, and he probably did that like within the first half of the seven years. It was just trying to get the Super Saiyan four uh, form down. But unfortunately, he just couldn't do it. Uh, I mean, perfect. He, he did his best to perfect it, mitigate the energy loss, and he probably did that. But anytime we tried to add a Kari onto it, it just completely backfired. And, and so he's like, okay, Super Saiyan 4 is great, but it's the strongest form I got right now still is Super Saiyan 2 Akari, which I think further goes into the whole Super Saiyan 4 form, admittedly. But either way uh, just be uh, more hair his tail hasn't grown back yet his his hair grows a bit bushier spikier longer all that uh and so we cut to honestly the next tournament goku and videl uh, goku and videl go on and videl have been kind of growing and bonding uh and uh go on he was like yeah that's uh that's videl down there i was like hey videl good luck and she's actually kind of smiles like and gives him a thumbs up and unfortunately it doesn't go well where she gets the snot kicked out of her by spovovich now, Gohan even taught her how to fly, uh, still, and it did not go well. Um, 
I even think she goes and buys over to Capsule Corp at one point and actually, you know, was impressed by everything. Got to see the gravity room and just was floored by how much how powerful it is. She was just saw just how strong Goku and the Arizona realized that her dad might not be the strongest anymore. They don't and they realize the reason they don't participate is because they would just completely crush the competition and there's no fun in that. But she gets uh, the shit kicked out of her by Spovich. Goku has to stop his son. Meanwhile, Shin and Kimbito are there and they see up in the stands these two fighters. And that their energy is far beyond anything else that they've sensed before. Fortunately, and, but they, so they're not participating, which is interesting. But someone who is participating is Krillin, who, I mean, yeah, he's been training hard, still would probably want the money. And he, he, at this point, he is the strongest human on the planet. So there's really no one except for Shin or Kibito who could even give him a mild fight. Uh, unfortunately, because of this, when they, they go, they tie, this takes a bit more time, but they basically, Krillin gets to his next match, and I could see it being with either Shin or Kibito, and Shin asks him, show off your full power, please, like everything you have, and Krillin's like, all right, if you want, if you want it, you got it, hey, powers up, and then Kaioken, times 20, yeah, now this is my full power, and Krillin could probably hold a Kaioken tie, sorry, like legitimately hold it at this point, um, so, you know, he's just showing it off. It's almost like a transformation for him. It's like, and Yamo is both bitch like, got him! And he's like, oh, what? It's like, what? what are you? Ah! Ah! It's like, Krillin! Like, ah! <laughs> and they fly off. And so, uh, they go give him the Senzu bean, and they go follow Shin and Kabito after him. And Bobby obviously kills both bitch and Yamu, inserts the energy into Boo, who most likely would not be at that 50%. He'd probably be like at maybe half that at best. So, and say, hmm, they got a decent amount of energy. And let's see. Oh, and it looks like the Supreme Kai brought some friends. How wonderful. Why don't you go break them, Deborah? And so Krillin still gets turned to stone. Uh, I could even see, uh, and Kibito doesn't, uh, Kibito doesn't get killed. I think he uh, gets turned to stone as well. And maybe he gets <laughs> axed off. Um. And so Kami is busy right now sensing everything going on. He's like, this is not good. Uh, perhaps I will have to get involved as well. Kami, by the way, has not been slacking. With a new body, he's making sure that he can also keep up with training. He probably takes a day every now and then to train in the Hypog Time Chamber as well over the last couple of years. And because Namekians can A, get very old, uh, Kami, well, Kami has not been using going in there every single day. He was already like 400. He was back in his prime. I think Guru was like in the 700 plus range. Uh, and he was definitely reaching his limits uh, age-wise. And But I think he was also sick too. Point being that Kami is like, I'm in my prime. So, and like, I'm pretty, it's pretty much like I'm only a couple years old. So he probably spent like 200 days or 200 years in that time chamber. So if Kami needs to come down and lay a smack down, Kami going to do it. Uh, but we will, we'll address that in a little bit. So, Goku and the gang go in, and they quickly, like, mince meat up Yakon, Pui Pui, and even Deborah. Like, they can't, they, Deborah can't even go up against the Super Saiyan forms of most of these guys. Go on, yes, but Go on takes care of Pui Pui, Raditz takes care of Deborah, uh, Yakon, and Goku quickly takes care of Deborah. Bobbity is honestly just quickly dealt with. I don't see any scenario where Boo actually comes to fruition in this version, uh, because they're just so overpowered at this point. And so now we actually skip into the early stages of Super, where Beerus wakes up and, you know, he's heard about the Super Saiyan God. Hmm. And so, and Kami senses the, this and is like, this is not good. Go, Goku. Uh, Goku, there's something I've been meaning to, uh, uh, Kami's been meaning to talk to Goku about something. Because of something that he particularly has come up uh, in a couple come up on on in his training over the years, he's now about roughly speaking hit the age that he was when uh, when he when Goku first met him. He's starting to got he's starting to he's starting to get older. The age has started to creep in, but more by all accounts, he's still in his prime. Uh, he's now in that nice middle. He's now starting start. Uh, start starting to uh, hit the golden years a little bit. So it's kind of like when Saiyans hit that marker where they start to rapidly age. 
not that he'll rapidly age, but he's now just, he's basically at the peak of his of his life basically now. Uh, and as he gets older, while he can still train and maybe still get stronger, his body is now going to start to slowly fade on him. So he's at that point in terms of his level of training. But Gami has been doing this on and off for God knows how long. Is that if there's something you need to know, Goku? A bit the uh, and Kami because ah, you sense it too, Kami. I too, King Kai. Lord Beerus has awoken. He's coming to this planet. What do you mean? And Goku, by the way, they're all at Bulma's birthday party, celebrating his wife's birthday. And and Kami's there too, because um, Kami shows up. He's like, oh, Kami, here he is. Like, uh, there's something I need to uh, need to address to you. He's like, oh, well, are you hungry? You know, I only need water. Uh, but uh, there's uh, there's something that you need to know, Goku. He's he's coming in then. And it's like, uh, oh, it's like, hello there, uh, Namekian. Uh, uh, he's here. And there is Lord Beerus and Whis. Wait, whoa, this guy's that strong? He's the destroy. He can literally destroy the universe, Goku. Oh my, whoa. I, 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 hi, I mean, I, my name's Goku. And it's like, uh, yeah, so Goku is it? Yes, uh, this, is this the one, Go, uh, is this the one, Whis? He is the one who defeated King Cold and Vegeta and Frieza. But he's, unfortunately, I don't sense any god key coming off him. Hmm. Uh, uh, it's, uh, uh yeah, sorry, this is my, this is my wife's birthday, uh, birthday. You're welcome to join us. Birthday? Hmm, I haven't been to one of these in eons. Uh, what is this? And he sees, uh, mm, Whis, there's a mollusk in here. And so, Beerus actually is pretty well behaved, all things considered. He's, he's welcome as a guest. Um, though Bulma is still very irritated this guy just crashes her party. But, but when Kami actually, Kami actually takes the time to actually explain to her who and what he is. And that, even though she was willing to smack him, she, he is still, uh, she's still like, like even Goku wouldn't be able to do a thing against him. I don't know if I could handle him very much myself. To which that's like, wait, what? What do you mean? Is it, uh, well, this has been, this actually has been quite a fun little time. But I'm here a bit on personal business. I'm looking for being known as a Super Saiyan God. Now, Whis unfortunately tells me that there's a, you're the only Saiyans around. You say for Vegeta floating around in, the one, in that one on planet Vampa. Uh, as well, I mean, uh, uh, yes, unfortunately... There's no real way to know how... We don't really have a Super Saiyan God to offer you, Lord Beerus. Uh, but I'd still love a chance to challenge you. Uh, challenge you. Really? In all my years, I've never had such a fool face shots. Why not? And he's like, oh, go! Oh, okay, come. She's like, oh. All right. All right, then. And just Goku's just getting ready. It's like, oh, just do your best. And Goku finally just powers up. All right, this is my... It tries out his base form. Can't get anywhere. Goes Super Saiyan. Hmm, no. Not bad, Saiyan, but you'll have to do better than that. I intend to! Goes to Super Saiyan 2, and just, and it's like, mm, still, I, I feel you have, you're have you hiding something. Goes to Super Saiyan 3, Beerus now finally does the whole, doo -doo 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 -doo. Uh, is this all you have, though? And then Goku goes back down to Super Saiyan 2, not quite. Oh. Ha! Ha! Powers up to Okari Super Saiyan 2, and Beerus now actually kind of goes, my, you really do have a bit of power in you. I'm actually getting a little excited now. And Goku comes and actually is able to... Uh, granted, Beerus is barely using a percent of his power, but is actually able to push Beerus a little bit. Like, Beerus is... I must admit, I haven't had to try this hard in eons. <laughs> this is fun, but... <clears throat> still nothing compared... You're still nothing compared to a true god, go Goku. But I commend you. You may be among the strongest mortals I've ever seen. Uh, <laughs> I thank you. But I'm not done yet! Ha! And then finally he transforms, and because there is a few years time skip between both um, uh, uh, Super and Dragon Ball Z, Goku had some more time to train, and ultimately, yes, to the people who are going to get pissed off, gained the Super Saiyan 4 form. And Beerus again, Beerus suddenly gets a bit more of a wild, goes like, oh, now that's some impressive power. And Goku comes again, and this time actually lands a good couple shots on Beerus. As a grand degree, it's like, I must have, you're impressive, but uh, even at this power, I don't even feel it! Boom! Just, boom, ah! Well, I must admit, though, that was uh, some fun. But uh, you're still not a Super Saiyan God, boy. Uh, would you, uh, well, I may not, uh, still, there must be a way to find him. Perhaps we could use the Dragon Balls, Lord Bears. Do you, uh, oh, your wish orbs. Hmm, that sounds interesting. But before that, hmm. I'm sensing you're hiding a little secret on your own, aren't you, Kami? And Kami says, damn it, he noticed. Well, uh, 
uh, due to a, due to an incident many many years ago, I was able to regain my former body body, and through that I was able to upgrade our a trading facility on my lookout, and through uh, through that I was able to uh, truly increase my power. And Kami finally just puts his staff down, takes off his actual you know guardian robes, and has you know the key of the, the Piccolo's key underneath him. And I was like, wait, Kami is it? I've been meaning, to, I was meaning to tell you about this, Goku, and to, to infer that you're trading. But it seems this is the best of, ti best of time as any. And G Kami just, <sighs> and then all of a sudden, a different aura surrounds Kami. Because Kami technically isn't a guy, is in a weird scenario. He both is and isn't divinity. Um, and we can kind of, because he's a guardian, he does know about the gods. And he knows about methods of the gods. So the fact that enough training, especially like 200 years worth of training, Kami could certainly, especially because he didn't have, doesn't have to do it every single day, uh, he can just spend a, between seven years. That's well over, uh, you know, almost, four, that's what, almost 4,000 days. Yeah, he just has to spend a couple, a couple, maybe like 10 days every month or so just training uh and so um and, and so he has learned to access divine key on his own goku can't sense it but he can feel this pressure Ugh, and beer suddenly has a very maniacal grin he's he's very much beyond goku now as in terms of his presence very well we'll look, we'll, ask, we'll look about into the super saiyan god but first kami yeah and say i, I assume as much uh say, let's see what you have namekian and Kami and Beerus clash. And they clash hard. And it's like boom, boom. Now it's not shock, not like Super Saiyan God level of power. But he is strong enough to actually give Beerus a fight. Ultimately, though, Kami does admit defeat. He's like, I would defeat. So there's no way I would be able to defeat you, Lord Beerus. Uh, truly your power, your power truly is the, uh, the pinnacle of our uh, of our universe. It's like, uh, so you realize that. But I must admit, yours is vulnerable, Kami. Now, let's see about that Super Saiyan God. And so, go, so the, uh, you know, they bring the dragon, and the dragon explains how to bring a Super Saiyan God in, in, into being, which you would think would be easy. Except that you only have Goku, Gohan, Raditz, Bra. That's it. But... I can say I can eventually see Videl and Gohan dating, and we know Videl was pregnant this is time. Furthermore, if we just want the Super Saiyan God thing to happen, which just to move the story along a little bit, sure, we could just say Gohan uh, Bulma's pregnant again with Goten. <laughs> I have no problem. See, I have no problem tweaking a story just to make something make sense, as long as it's not something that's like, oh no, the story's just going to end right here and there. But that's not the case here. Beerus would probably just be disappointed, but. Would Goku would still agree to train uh, and get training. However, that's not the case here. Goku gets to be the Super Saiyan God. They clash, have their fight, and Goku admits defeat. But it's all in good sportsmanship here. There's no threat to the world. And so Beerus goes back to his planet. Ultimately, Whis would come for Goku to train in God Q. And I think Raditz would ultimately join him. Raditz, by the way, does not get married. I don't think would get married in this version. Even though Bulma does have a sister, that doesn't mean you just pair him off. Or and no, launch is not going to just show up either. So get that out of your get that out of the way. Um, but ultimately, yeah, that's where we're going to end part eight with Goku and Reds going to train with Beerus. Basically, the Vegeta and Goku scenario in Resurrection F. Uh, so that is where we're going to leave things off. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.